The discussion of the most dominant, distant freestylers in the 22-year history of the women's swimming program should be a brief one and should begin and end with the name Sarah A. Barber Grundfast, who earned regional competition and recognition in each of her three specialty events in each of her four years. In the 500, 1,000, and 1,650-yard freestyle events, the two-time team captain won a total of eight NISDA and four Little East Conference individual championships. Her program distance records remained intact well over a decade later. As a freshman, Sarah broke a program record a total of 20 times and was named Eastern's Female Rookie of the Year. That season, she also became only the second Eastern swimmer to compete in the ECAC Open, qualifying in three events. She is the only Eastern swimmer to date to earn points in that meet. A four-time team MVP, Sarah capped a celebrated career when she was presented with the Kay Frommer Award in 2008 for having accumulated the most career points among swimmers that year in the NISDA meet. Hi, I am Maureen Fahey, Head Swim Coach. I'm thrilled to be here talking to you about Sarah's 2018 induction into the E-Club Hall of Fame. For those of you who know of Sarah's collegiate swimming accomplishments, this honor comes as no surprise. She came to campus as a freshman in 2004 and the rest was history. There was no adjustment period. In Sarah's freshman year alone, she broke six school records a total of 18 times. I credit Sarah for putting our distance program on the map. For four years, Sarah dominated the 500, the 1000, and the 1650 freestyle events in our conference and in the New England Championship meet. Her school records now stand as the oldest on our record board. I still have coaches advising their athletes to stick with the Eastern girl. They always produce great distance swimmers. Thanks, Sarah, for that. Sarah worked very hard for that, however. As most of you know, swimming involves repetition. And for distance swimmers, you can multiply that by two or three. She was a machine. Let's say you ran a marathon. If you were anything like me, towards the end of the race, your pace will get slower and slower. <laughs> Not so for Sarah. I wasn't surprised when she would negative split some of her races, meaning she would come back faster than she went out. Sarah would practice sometimes up to four hours a day, doing pace set after pace set, never wavering, always willing to put the effort and with a smile on her face. She readily sought out feedback and actively listened to coaching staff. There were times when I wondered why I was even keeping splits because each 50 or 100 split was within a tenth of a second of the other. A four-year recipient of the team's most valuable summer award, Sarah's leadership also extended outside of the pool. A two-year captain, she would regularly be found helping her teammates academically, athletically, and personally. The team was like her family. She led by example and was quick to volunteer. Sarah often finished her races well ahead of others and shortly thereafter would still be in the pool cheering on a teammate or another competitor as they were finishing their races. Sarah remains humble about her accomplishment and once a warrior, always a warrior. To this day, Sarah often texts me after a big meet with a great job coach, so and so did awesome. I always pass along the congratulations to my athletes and when they ask, who is that? I say it's a Sarah on the record board. Please join me in honoring Sarah's hard work, dedication, and passion for swimming. Congratulations, Sarah, and all of tonight's inductees. As an age group swimmer, uh, she was in eight and unders when I was in the more senior group, but I remember her coming into practice every day, and I remember how good she was, even as a little kid. Well, swimming on the silver fins with Sarah, you could, you could see the potential um, that she had uh, in her swimming abilities of where she could go. She was still placing um, high up in her age groups, doing very, very well, um, and that just excelled when she came to Eastern. Sarah was one of the first swimmers that I recruited once I left Eastern and came back as an assistant coach. And just having lived in Meriden and having been living back in Meriden, I kept seeing her name in the newspaper and I knew that she was having a really great senior year. And so as we were looking for athletes to recruit, I mentioned her to Maureen and said, you know, it might be worth 
going to talk to her, you know, she might be willing to look at Eastern as an option, um, knowing that at that point, a few Meriden swimmers had come through the program. When Sarah came in as a freshman, she was probably one of the first f swimmers that came in as a club swimmer and a high school swimmer um, that was definitely ready to compete at uh, such a high level. I knew Sarah um, from club swimming prior to coming to Eastern. Uh, we swam for the Meriden Silverfins together. She um, was always someone to look up to while swimming there. Uh, she was a positive role model, a hard worker. Um, just those are the type of things that like I remember from club swimming. I think she really did become acclimated very quickly. She came in and she was ready to swim. She was ready to be a good teammate and to show what she was capable of doing. And very soon within practicing and trying her out in different places, you know, we found very quickly that distance was what suited her the best. Sarah had an excellent work ethic. She would be able to just kick things into another gear, seemingly out of nowhere because she had this inner drive. Not just a great athlete, a hard worker, and you know, dedicated to swimming. Uh, she was a great teammate. She was supportive, motivating. Uh, I swam in the same lane as her. Uh, she was the lane leader. You know, she set the tone for how that workout was gonna be. And she always did a really good job of that. Yeah, her consistency in practice, I don't think, has been truly duplicated since. She'd get more yardage done in the same amount of time that the other sprint practices or stroke practices were getting done, but she could sit and do 30 100s and replicate the same time over and over and over again with very little rest, and that's not something that's typical. At this time, it is my pleasure to present for induction into the E-Club Hall of Fame, Sarah A. Barbara Grunfest.